when you do certain kinds of movies with certain kinds of people in a certain kind of way, you automatically separate yourself from the business as a whole. So you get on a list with people who actually uh, uh, want to do certain kinds of movies in a certain kind of way. Right. Or they want a lot of input and they want someone who helps define their movie. Right. As opposed to, get me somebody... You know, I want to Stylish, get, Yeah, I want to get out of here on Friday and Saturday and we have to be done in eight weeks. I've shot those too, but that's right. not why they us usually did not hire me for that. Yeah. They hired you to be... To design the movie. To actually. design the movie, yeah, okay. Yeah, structurally or visually, at any rate. But uh -huh. all the directors that I worked with received and took in a lot of input, wanted a lot of input. Can, can, I just want to say input. Are we ta talking about blocking? Are we talking about the performances? Are we talking about the script? Are we talking about cutting? And it's, it's, it's all the above except the acting part. You know, uh -huh. I, I never dealt with that. Although I had good relationships with actors, I never got entangled up with that. And of course, I never get tangled up with the editing after the fact. Right. But in order to shoot, you have to know how to cut. Right. You know, otherwise you're shooting a lot of stuff. And it's it's a lesson for directors, which I wish more of them would learn. You know, you yeah. don't need the cut of the doorknob and the cut of the window and the cut of medium shot, long shot, close up, over the shoulder. So, that's dump truck directing, what I call it. They, they take all the stuff and then they throw it into the editorial room and the editor fashions the movie. Well, I, don't, I never functioned that way. <laughs>